Hello there, Xan Axmus here, racing to Waypoint Station 3 before the traitor Blazius gets his hands on the King and Queen. Waypoint Station 3 is one of several Republic facilities created during the war, originally intended to quickly restock and refuel military ships. After the war ended, they became convenient safe ports often used by Republic allies or small trading vessels. So it's a retrofitted Republic station, now used by... I don't know what the planet is, but it's Blazius' homeworld. It's his king and queen. Alright, there it is. Our time is short. We must act fast. Oh, man. That's not a blaster, Mark. Oh, jeez, here we go. Yikes. Republic troops dead everywhere. What the hell happened here? Yeah, I don't like this one bit. We might be too late. Oh, there they are. Blazius, what is the meaning of this? Oh god, he's a Sith. Look at him. And here's our guest of honor. Kyrus, if the Jedi takes one step toward their majesties, cut their throats. It will be done, my master. Lord Kyrus. Okay. Oh, We're shit. No threat to you. Please, at least release my wife. I know you can exploit any advantage, Jedi. So the soldiers had to die. The civilians, too. I do, after all. Take pride in being thorough. I'm the one you want. Call Kyrus off and we'll talk. What could you possibly offer compared to what I already have? No A chance to walk away from this. I am Organ Blasis, and I am a child of the Emperor. Oh. I was brought before the Emperor as an infant and imprinted with his power, his right. consciousness. I shared the greatest mind like in the galaxy. With the first son conceiving my presence, I joined hundreds of my brothers and sisters scattered throughout the Republic to watch and wait. One man couldn't hide hundreds of infiltrators from an entire galaxy of Jedi. That's where you're wrong. Single Jedi healer severed Tarek Morage from his army, as I recall. This is immaterial. An Imperial fleet is coming. You will all be destroyed. And without the Rift Alliance, the Republic is finished. That's the big play here. The Empire is merciful, Your Highness. Your planet could be spared the coming destruction. How? Tell me. By joining the Order Empire? Order your bodyguards to kill the Jedi. Even if you agree, he'll betray you. And the Empire will destroy your world. Senator Grell told us about your courage. I will not raise my hand against you. Nice. Your empire's friendship is worthless to us. Yeah, you tell him. You'll regret your highness. being so stubborn when your planet is burning. Kyrus, show them how a Jedi dies. Oh, you're a fool. This is not gonna. This is not gonna go your way. Gotta be demoralizing when your opponent won't even sword fight with you. I'm just like throwing stuff at him. <laughs> oh, I don't think so. Got him. Why won't you accept that our victory is inevitable? Destroying my servant won't end this. Maybe not, but we can wreck your day trying. First son of the Emperor will lead us to glory. Your death is the first step on that path. At least give me the courtesy of knowing my enemy's name. Die in ignorance. It has been agony, restraining myself from killing you! Oh yeah? Well then what comes next is gonna be really frustrating for you. Thank you. 
Nice. I love it when I get to do the finisher animation with the saber. He's dead? You... How could you... He seemed invincible. Why Through the force, all this? things are possible, so Tobus jot that Grell down. said Blasis was your ally. These children of the Emperor seem intent on destroying the Rift Alliance, and thereby the Republic. Our troops died because of his treachery. They were so proud. They would have served your Republic well. Your soldiers died nobly, trying to protect you. Yeah, that I is a tragic Tobus loss. Grell they didn't have to die. Nadia are all right. We owe them so much. What happens now? We will ask the Republic for help getting home. I will never forget how you came to our rescue. From now on, the Republic will have full access to our treasury. That would more than suffice. Goodbye, Jedi. Go safely. Love it. Another job well done. Come on, Lieutenant, let's get out of here. It is pretty disturbing to Zan that he was not able to detect Blazus' strength in the Force that whole time. Like, that that kind of shakes him a bit. Blazus was a Sith. He's dead, and the royal family is safe. But their soldiers weren't as lucky. Jedi, quickly. You need to hear this. Oh, no. Now what? Good to see you. My commanders and our droids routed an Imperial fleet near your position. But this report is odd. Our Tell men me. had a dozen sudden power failures, a major communications fault. I'd call that sabotage. I suspect I know who's behind it, but let me know what you find. I sense a Jedi business explanation approaching. Master Seo's trying to get through. Master Bacarn. Thank the Force you're all right. The Empire has launched a devastating offensive. The galaxy is again at war. Okay, so the, the treaty is officially done. systems are being invaded. An Imperial ambush almost broke the Republic fleet and the Jedi. Every hour, more are lost. How can I help? We managed to protect the core worlds, but the rest of the Republic is under fire. The Republic won't survive another peace treaty. We have to stand and fight. I need you. All of you. The Rift Alliance worlds are the only ones still standing strong. We need you to... I don't see the Aragorn representative. Is Blazus all right? Yeah, about that. I also have bad news. The Republic has been infiltrated. The children of the Emperor. Now, of all times, you say they've hidden themselves in the Republic. This first son is able to completely mask the other children from us. Hmm. <laughs> that fills a void in our knowledge. Several years ago, one of the Dark Council turned and joined us. He brought valuable intelligence. Oh? He mentioned these children of the Emperor. But even the Dark Council only knew terrible rumors. We must be on guard. In the meantime, the Chancellor has invoked an ancient law giving Jedi Masters military authority. Oh. The Republic needs our leadership. Well, that sounds awfully familiar. The children are the greater threat. If I catch their leader, I can unmask them. I agree, but without a way to detect these children, we must face the Empire. We can't win with the armies we have. The Republic needs powerful allies, and you have already proven you could lead them. You and the Rift Alliance must search the galaxy, seek out the strongest forces you can find, to strike back at the Empire. Okay, so we're gonna go recruiting now. You won't be now. alone out there, Jedi. Mabukala hijack is Ije. Appreciates you, Shuru. <laughs> That's the spirit. will always be your ally, no matter what. I'd rather follow someone I respect. Count me in, too. So it shall be. We must begin our search for allies at once. I must admit, this task does seem near impossible. Place has murdered so many of my people alone. To fight all the children and this empire. Who could help us? We need more than just soldiers. To truly face the Empire, we'll need superior tactics or technology. Well, hopefully Shiro's got the hookup with the Kulto, the right? Because that's where Manon... You the shield that's technique. where their production happens. Their knowledge and experience could guide us. The Noeticons were lost when the Sith attacked me on Coruscant. We recovered the last fragments of the Noeticons, and our most gifted engineers have been reconstructing them on Typhon. Oh. They haven't responded to anyone, even the Council. 
but they may remember you. I must go. Leave for Tython and speak to the Noeticons. I hope their knowledge has survived. May the Force be with you. And with you, Master. Alright, heading back to Tython. Nice, and that's the end of Chapter 2. Let's keep going, though. Now we can talk without Sub-Zero wind in our ears. Thank you. Not just for saving my guys. You got me out of Hoth. You have no idea how much I was starting to hate that planet. I can... <laughs> I can imagine. I found Hoth rather picturesque, actually. Digging graves out there takes the bloom off, I'm afraid. Yeah, you no, know, you I missed had a different experience than Zane. Even Kree. But they're going home, and that's the important thing. They've earned it. Fair enough. All right, let's get planet side. This terminal is a painstaking reconstruction of the ancient terminal on Coruscant. But when you touch the familiar controls, nothing happens. Maybe you need to insert the Noeticon first. The Order needs your guidance once more, Masters. Nope, something's happening. Broken nice. The vessel barely frees its content. Your face is familiar. Though life has written on you since we taught you the shielding technique. Yes. That's a cool now phrase. Life has written on you. <sighs> I sense the Sith were behind our sudden plunge into darkness. A moment, Master Arca. Was the shielding technique successful? Did it save your master? You on par is alive and well because of the lessons you taught me. That is most excellent news. Now, tell us what brought you here. Five minutes later. So, you seek an army to protect the Republic from its enemies. Quite a puzzle, even for us. But not impossible, Master Varus. The ancient Rakata boast in their writings of imprisoning a sleeping army. As I remember, the Rakata conquered and enslaved most of the galaxy before they died out. Correct. The translation? Oh, this is fascinating. Apparently the Rakata imprisoned this army in stasis beneath the planet's surface. Oh, that's but gonna be Bell The writings are incomplete. There's no record of which planet it is. Perhaps we could extrapolate the planet's position from the rest of the writings. They speak of a fading nova in the night sky during the prison's construction. Definitely, Balsavis, if, if it's a prison. time period, then it's somewhere in the mid-rim. But we're missing a coordinate to pinpoint <laughs> See here, a monument proclaims our victory. And that's the Rakata term for Hoth. This monument on Hearth will have the last coordinate. But go carefully. The Rakata protected their monuments from enemies and rebelling slaves. Its guardians may still be active. Thank you for all you've done. You've done a great service in reawakening us. For now we must conserve our energy. And you have an army to find. May the Force be with you, and with the Republic. All right. Well, Kaizen, looks like we're heading back to Hoth. <laughs> I better go give Lieutenant Aresso the bad news. <laughs> back to the cold. There are some places in the world where it's so cold that once you go outside, your eyeballs will freeze like condensation on your eyes will start freezing in about 15 seconds so you have to just like constantly be blinking like this sounds absolutely hellish <laughs> and I'm sure Hoth is one of those places you know that's okay got my north space jacket on toasty warm all right if I was an ancient Rakatan Empire where would I put my memorial I'm like scanning the horizon as if I'm going to see something, but obviously it's going to be deep underground, right? Because that's kind of how the Rakata 
tend to operate. Wow, so far my shortcut has actually been really effective, and usually it adds like 20 minutes onto my journey. So, nice. Oh, I think that's it up ahead. Monument Cave. Yep, this is definitely it. Place seems empty, but I don't trust that. These massive pieces of ice that are just like falling from the ceiling. It's terrifying. <laughs> Through the thick ice, you can make out something frozen in the cave wall. It appears to be the Ricotta Monument the Noeticon spoke of. Oh shit, what the? Uh, it's an ambush! Whoa, fuck! <laughs> okay, well that... That knocked me out of the action. Let's get back in there. Am I supposed to click on? I'm like, oh my god, everything's already blue. <laughs> there it is. Looks like a few strokes of your lightsaber would melt the, cover the ice covering the monument. Let's do it. Who could be calling at a time like this? All the ricotta relics are so ominous. The ricotta left you behind when their civilization fell. You have my attention? That's why I'm here. Me bag address past yaktan el is for costing tea. Interesting. That's not Zenke, you Joan. Maestra me hiruba. So, some members of the species tried to, like, perpetrate a genocide, and the Rakata just wiped out, like, the entire species because of it. The entire species was sealed in stasis, awake to think on their actions. Jesus. That is absolutely terrible. No, your masters sent orders. They've got plenty of slaves already. Hmm. I'm afraid I can't let you harm innocent people. Oh, okay, I'll get right on there. <laughs> Stupid statue, tell me what to do. <laughs> Alright, so, narratively, we don't know what planet this sleeping Eshka army is on. 
But, like, in the meta, having played several class stories already, we know it's Bell Savage, and we know that's eventually where we're going to be going here. Uh, but for now, let's report back to the ship with the information we have learned. Excuse me? Something else going on up here? It's just top gas. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I'm... I'm really of two minds about this one. Because on the one hand, the Eshka sound like they could be a really formidable fighting force that could turn the tide in the favor of the Republic. But, even though I think the Rakata sounds like they kind of overreacted, they were responding to an actual threat. And the Eshka, like, just releasing them on the galaxy again, could be a really bad idea. Rage o quot avis as ig anor cool hoge ege. But my Senate clearance got us some answers. It's a world called Belsavis. Hey! And the Ashka won't be lonely. The Republic's using Belsavis as a high security prison. I wonder if those prisoners realize there's an entire army under their feet. I agree with Shuru. That's my concern also. If the Ashka rebel, they'll just go back in their box. But if they don't, the Republic gets powerful new shock troops. How is that ethical, though? Just put him back in the box? <laughs> we should seek out that would make us no better than the Ricotta. East. I think they've been imprisoned long enough. All right. And it looks like we're off to Belsavis. Infiltrate a Republic prison and raise an army that sleeps beneath their feet. It's all quite epic and mysterious. I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, but we're going to be going to Belsavis next time. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I am having a great time with the Consular class story. I think we're properly in Chapter 3 at this point, too, which is exciting. Um, these playthroughs come out once a week right here on the YouTube channel. If you don't want to wait a week, you can join up on Patreon and watch up to two weeks ahead with early access. Thanks again, and as always, may the Force be with you. Goodbye.